Wednesday you're watching The Circle, well have you noticed two good to be true property prices in America where a whole house can be bought for less than a deposit on a home here in Australia? Well, it pays to be aware of what is really being offered before you are investing. So to weigh it all up, please welcome our property expert, Catherine Cashmore. This is a fascinating topic. It is, it is. Are Australians really buying American yes. property? Yeah, and it, not only that, but there's a lot of companies over here now that are promoting American property to Australians mm -hmm. because we, we, our economy is doing fine, you know. Mm -hmm. And in America, there was actually there was something in the news. I don't know whether it was passed, but you could get a green if you spent five hundred thousand dollars on a piece of real estate in America, you would be given a green card <gasps> to go wow. and to go. And I'm not, no kidding. And they are desperate. They're absolutely desperate. But look, let's have a look at what's it worth. Let's see how cheap they can really go. Let's okay. do this. With, what's it worth? So this is in America, this one. This is in America. Depressed northern and US city. Okay. Yeah, it is. I feel like I should tell you what the city is. Um, what's up to you? Is Eminem well, from there? Are the white stripes from there? Is this there? a guessing game? It's a, it's a <laughs> guessing game. That's yeah, it's right. so much fun, Look, Steve. This, so this has got a, a crime rate three so times... 3.5 times right, the yeah. average crime rate. Oh, is that what that means? 3.5 times the, the average. average crime. And I think it's over seven times the Most average murder. Most of that's murder. by real estate agents. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, Here's our house. Real estate agents. Three Here's bedroom. the house. So, yeah, three bedroom, two bathroom house. Oh, that's nice. Um, decent sized block of land <laughs> comparable Jeez, uh, to what you'd get here. Pretty run down there, Catherine. It's yeah. pretty. It is, look, this was a foreclosed government owned shots? property. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Profes professional photography okay. was was. Oh. 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 But yeah. if you go back to, can we, I don't know if we can go back to the first shot, which shows the block. It does, it, I think it's quite, yeah. Oh, so, okay. well, the first, it's weatherboard. Weatherboard, it's got the windows. It's really. It's got windows. Look, yeah. Well, thank God for that. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That'd be, that'd be oh, a cool bedroom yeah. if you're a kid. Yeah. You'd have to fill in yeah. those. When you get tired now, of it's, it's, yeah. I will say that it's close to a capital city, so it's only about 14 kilometres. From okay. from the capital city. Three bed, two North bath. North. Three yep. bed, two bath. What do you reckon, Laurie? Here we go. I reckon uh, two hundred and eighty thousand. Two hundred and eighty thousand. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's beautifully presented <laughs> too. So I'm figuring about one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Oh God, I'm way One hundred twenty-five thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Oh. Oh, the game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hundred grand. 100 grand. Okay, so here we go. The true price. And let's. Oh, I should have just said, I think it was on the bullet points. But okay, so the true price for this property is 1,560. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. This property sold for $1,560. It's gone, is it? Because I've got the checkbook it's on me. It's gone. <laughs> You could do. Harks back, of course, the GFC. Um, That's right. And this is Subprime. all destroyed. That's Subprime. Right. And basically, you can't. There are so many Americans now that owe more on their house now than That's when they right. bought it. Yeah, one out of four Americans owe more on their properties oh, than their properties worth. are worth. Plus, so I'm this gathering was, from what yeah. you were saying that it's Detroit, right? This is so Detroit, Detroit was yeah. built on car manufacturing, which is. That's Slumped. right. Which is, so the industry's yes. gone. There's massive unemployment. Here you go. So you can see where it is. Um, location, location, location. Yeah. 1500 yeah. bucks, though. Now That's tell right. us about 1500 bucks. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there are ghost towns in, in Detroit. There, there are, are ghost suburbs there where are. no one lives. There That's are drug right. dealers. There That's are crack right. dens. Wow. That place looked clearly like there have been crimes and murders committed yeah. inside. Yeah. $1,500 I could actually put on my credit card. Would it be worth it, Catherine? Well, would it be worth it? Well, first of all, why is it so cheap? No, nobody wants to buy. Well, you're not going to be able. No, you're not going to be able. You're not going to be able to put a tenant in there, probably. You're not going to be able to rent it. If you do rent it and you get a profit, you've got tax implications. Mm. So you're going to be taxed over there as well as taxed oh. over here. Yeah. And of course, like Australia, the state taxes differ yep. between states. You've got to get somebody to manage it over there. Mm. Now, to get a loan, the loan rates in in America are rock bottom. But you're not going to be open to those loan rates. That's open for home buyers mm. in America. Now there aren't any home buyers in America. Well, we could put a few of them on Yumi's credit card, she reckons. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Fifteen hundred bucks. It's a pair of shoes. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, but you see, when you see these companies that are advertising to Australians to go to go and buy American real estate, these are the kind of things that they're advertising. Oh. The foreclosed homes. You're not going to find a nice apartment on Central yeah. Avenue yeah. in New York for you know 
a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, or even two hundred thousand <laughs> yeah. right. dollars. It's going to be in the millions. Mum and pup investors yes. in Australia would go, yeah. okay, that's two grand. Even if we just sit on it, we don't get any tenants in, yeah. maybe yeah. it'll appreciate in 10, 15 years. Yeah, well, it's, it's really unlikely because, first of all, there's a huge oversupply Gosh. of property in America. Mm. You've got record high unemployment. To get the industries back, and remember, it's a huge country you yeah. know so I mean what's happening in Detroit isn't going to be what's happening in New York or what's happening in Chicago which are the two closest the major towns you know in closest to Detroit what's happening in Detroit is a different thing altogether you could be looking at 30 40 years yeah now why are you going to do that so why you, are you going you to do that? You better put 1,500 bucks yeah. into, into shares. And well, that's, like that's, own absolutely, yeah. that's absolutely right. Although, what There's a great spot for a holiday house. I mean, has anyone thought no, about that? Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, no, just pop over the there for two rate, weeks every know. year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it should be mentioned, there's, there's people that have gone over to America and invested. And talking about Detroit, there was... Um, one chap that went over there, he had an argument with the tenant. This the is tenant, an Aussie guy. An Aussie guy. The tenant killed him. It was an argument over unpaid rent. Here you go. So, so, um, okay. so he's an Aussie guy. He, owns he this owned place. a property exactly in, De this. in Detroit. He was a developer. He went over there. It was an had an argument with the tenant under over unpaid rent, yep. and he was murdered. Over now, there. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's, it's one that's out of the box, but there's hundreds of people that have lost money because somebody would say well you know pay forty thousand dollars for it and you think well that's great yeah. you know we've got to go but you're it's saying it that. is not worth it it's not worth it okay. it's not worth it really investigate just, it just on that fifteen hundred dollars did the bucket under the shower come with it <laughs> <laughs> Catherine has put together a really great fact sheet. You can download it for free from our website or via Facebook. And will you please thank the always informative Catherine Cashmore.